if a charge is like this, if a charge is like this, see, if he, the charge is at rest means, if the charge is at rest means, here there is no deflection in this uh, what charge, there is no deflection in this charge. So once again, what we discussed, if once again the same current is flowing, if the charge is at the motion, if the charge is at the motion, so then the charge is in motion, so then automatically what happens, the charge is deflects or experiences a force, experiences a force, right? If here, see what happens, suppose this is a charge, this is a charge, this charge is putting in a magnetic field, external magnetic field and it is having a velocity, it is having a velocity, right? It is having a velocity. So then, so then it is the force, it is the force. There is a force experience when we are going to put in the charge in what? An external field, an external field. So here what happens? What happens? There is an angle should be created between this magnetic field and this velocity. This magnetic field and velocity. Very important thing here. So here what happens? B is the magnetic field, right? So V is the velocity of the charge. Right? So Q is the charge. Here this is the force. This is the force experiences by the charge. Experiences by the charge. Which type of charge? Moving charge. Which type of charge? Moving charge. Right? In an external magnetic field. So here, whatever the force experience is, that the force is, that the force is what it becomes Q. Right? V cross B. V cross B. This is the force. This is the force. Right? So, and here, after this one, F is equal to Q. V B sin theta. Q V B sin theta. If we remove the, this cross product, you remove this cross product. In cross product, we remove any other. In a way, V B sin theta. In a way, V B sin theta. Here, here, theta is, theta is angle between, angle between what? Velocity, velocity and magnetic field, magnetic field. So, velocity and magnetic field in the middle of the angle in the three of our theta, sin theta, energy. Right? If this is in vector form, it is a vector form of the theta, right? If, if we are going to write the normal, so then Fm is equal to, modulus of Fm is equal to Qvb sin theta, Qvb sin theta. We need to worry about it. This is in what? Simple form. Vector form or the vector form or the vector form. Right? It is both of you. Very important. So this much is force experience. This much is force experience by a moving charge. By a moving charge. If suppose we are going to be find out the what? Magnetic field. Magnetic field. So what happens here? See, F is equal to what? Q V B sin theta is there. Q V B sin theta is there. So then B is equal to B is equal to B eleven theta. Force divided by force divided by Q V sin Q V sin theta. Force kilogram. So then what we have to find out here? B. B. So now velocity quantity both. Right? Charge quantity both. To put that up. In quantity with the group, we want to find out mark both. Clear? So this is the force experienced by the moving charge in an external magnetic field. In an external magnetic field. Right. After this one. Here.
and force depends on force depends on the cross product of v and b cross product of v and b the direction of force will be the direction of force will be what here perpendicular the direction of force is what here perpendicular problem direction direction of force is it is perpendicular okay both are very very important right so uh, here so what will be given here magnitude bandh me and then we have to q v b sin theta q v b sin theta so this is the magnitude the bare magnitude bandh me and then q v b sin theta okay what will be vector the number of the torsion value So now, now here note note right. So if theta is equal to ninety degree, if theta is equal to ninety degree, right? So if theta is equal to ninety degree means what happens here? Let's see, F is equal to F is equal to Q V B sin theta. So then once again F is equal to Q V B sin 90 degree. Sin 90 degree. So here F is equal to Q V B because sin 90 degree is equal to how much students? One. Sin 90 degree is equal to how much students? One. So then force on charge particle. Force. on charged particle force on charged particle is maximum is maximum so about force is it the charged particle man antandre maximum irutte irutte maximum irutte gotta be so second one to be written na so this is a this is b so what if theta is equal to 0 degree if theta is equal to 0 degree once again you know you know f is equal to q v b sin theta so f is equal to q v b q v b sin 0 degree so then sin 0 is how much again sin 0 degree is equal to 0 sin 0 degree is equal to 0 so then it becomes how much charged particle a charged 
definition of one tesla definition of one tesla definition of Here, what happens? The force on a charged particle, the force on a charged particle, the force on a charged particle in an external magnetic field, in an external magnetic field. What is that? F is equal to F is equal to B Q V sin theta. B Q V sin theta. We know. Here, if if Q is equal to one coulomb, Q is equal to one coulomb, right? So here, V is equal to one meter per second. V is equal to how much? One meter per second. Theta is equal to ninety degree. Theta is equal to how much? 90 degree. So then force is equal to 1 newton. Force is equal to how much newton? 1 newton. Force is equal to 1 newton. Right? So then we have then we have see here can we apply all the things in this equation? F is equal to how much? 1, right? So B is equal to how much? We don't know B only. Q is equal to how much? 1. V is equal to how much? 1 into sin 90 degree. Into how much? Sin 90 degree. So then, can I write once again? 1 is equal to B into 1 into 1. Sin 90 is equal to how much? 1. So then, can I write? B is equal to what Tesla? B is equal to 1 Tesla. B is equal to 1 Tesla. So here, then, can we define? Can we define? Here, magnetic field. Magnetic field. Field is said to be is said to be one tesla is said to be one tesla if the one coulomb charge is if the one coulomb charge is moving with moving with velocity moving with velocity to experiences a force one newton experiences force with one newton in perpendicular perpendicular to the force perpendicular to the what force then it is called as what one tesla then it is called as what one tesla so the magnetic field the magnetic field is said to be one tesla is said to be one tesla if a positive charge if a positive charge one coulomb if a positive charge one coulomb one coulomb moving with right angles moving with right angles to the magnetic field to the magnetic field with with a velocity with velocity of 1 meter per second Velocity of one meter per second experiences experiences one newton force one newton force 
that is our definition of one tesla definition of one tesla very important so this is the definition of one tesla definition of the magnetic field is said to be one tesla if the positive charge moving with the right address to the magnetic field with the velocity of one newton per second experiences what how much force one newton force so that is called definition of one tesla right after this one we are going to move with so here another one is there that is one gauss is equal to one g or gauss is equal to 10 raised to minus 5 tesla 10 raised to minus sorry that is ha huh, 10 raised to minus 4 tesla 10 raised to minus 4 tesla so one gauss of the magnet will be 10 raised to minus 4 tesla at the 10 raised to minus 4 tesla this is very important right so next one after this one <coughs> So this one, so very important one. Lorentz force. Which force? Lorentz force. So here, see, very important, very important. the force the force on a charged particle a charged particle combined 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 electric and electric and magnetic field magnetic field is called is called what lorentz force lorentz force lorentz force so in the lorentz force the property a lorentz force hang it and one charged particle may have one force act on it so a force act on it एलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड मैग्नेटिक फील्ड so here here so here f e is equal to v no q e q e so that f m is equal to v no what uh, that is q v cross b v cross b right so this is our equation number 1 this is our equation number 1 so now we have this force is this force is due to electric field electric field right so next one here yes, this force is this force is due to magnetic field magnetic field right so e force due to electric field is one force of magnetic field is right right so then what we can going to write f is equal to what q e plus q v cross b v cross b then what is the common thing here q common thing here so then uh, e is the e right plus v cross b b cross b. so this is lorentz force this is lorentz force it is now going to be the lorentz force about the combining of electric field and magnetic field electric field and magnetic field very important so this force is called what lorentz force lorentz force now we go there 
एफ ई अंदर के ने दे क्यू वी ए इधर ना राइट सो देन एफ एम अंदर क्यू वी क्रॉस बी इधर ना बोलते हैं राइट ना वो लोग तो बोलो टोटल फोर्स होते हैं दैट टोटल फोर्स इज नोटेड एस व्हाट लॉरेंज फोर्स लॉरेंज फोर्स राइट पर इंपोर्टेंट क्या लग रहा है आप बस Velocity selector. Velocity selector. So, some other topics are there that we will discuss.